What's up everybody? Say hi guys. Hi. So today we're going to talk about spending time with family and real estate. Some people get into real estate sales thinking, oh, now I'll be able to manage my life, spend more time with my family, enjoy my lake, enjoy all these things uh, more and still be able to make a good living and be able to set my own schedule. And then what happens is reality sets in that no, you are not setting your own schedule. Wow, this is really more work than I thought it was. The schedule gets hectic, hectic and you actually spending, end up spending less time with your family. The best way to avoid that is control your schedule. Set realistic expectations with clients up front. Set realistic deadlines and time frames. So if you say you're going to get a listing in, say, oh, okay, well, I'm just getting the photos back. I will have the listing in, say today is Tuesday, by Thursday afternoon. Instead of saying, I'll have it done by the end of the day. Because what we usually think is, Oh, I'm going to show them how quickly I can get it done. But if you're not doing it effectively and efficiently, it doesn't matter anyway. Then you get to spend some more time with the kiddos. So setting, having that conversation can be difficult to, at first. It is. And, and you know, you want to be the one for them that it goes way above and beyond. And you will. And you still are, even by setting those deadlines and time frames, giving yourself an actual manageable amount of time to do them correctly and properly. Um, same way with listing appointments. Sometimes, you know, we want to just rush right in and say, oh, I'm going to cl clear my schedule tonight for you. And, and there are times I've done that and it has worked. But what I've learned is over the course of a lot of different listings, I'm doing a video, honey. Can you wait real quick? See, set realistic time frames, Honey, give me uh, 22 more seconds. Is that fair? See, she said it's fair. 22 more seconds. But when you just drop everything for clients and are running around, you'll run around like a chicken with your head cut off. You're the professional. You have to figure out how to manage your time. Be straightforward with them. If you lose one deal over it, I promise you, if you lose a listing because you weren't there right when they wanted you to be there, right when they said to be there, I'm telling you, that listing will end up being a nightmare anyways. So heed my advice. You manage your time, be responsible, and do what you say you're going to do. If you say I'm going to have your listing ready on Wednesday at noon, have that listing ready at Wednesday at noon, even if you have to work through the night on Tuesday to do it. And you'll learn how long it takes you to do things. Is my 22 seconds up, honey? 22 seconds is up. Hit like, subscribe to my channel, please, so I can keep making them. And uh, we can keep spreading the word. Real estate's a great profession, um, but there are a lot of stumbling blocks we have to navigate through so we can have a quality of life, a great business, and love God above all else. Have a great day.